The concentrated beam of the Olight i3T is pretty nice in most scenarios. But do you ever wish you could use this as a little mini lantern or an area light? Well, in this video, I show you how you can using some materials you probably already have laying around. All right, step one is to go find that melted chapstick under the seat of your car. Remove the cap and clean it. Step two is to drop that cap into some boiling water. All right, step three, fish the cap out of the water. You don't even need to leave it in long, maybe 30 seconds. And um, this plastic will be a little bit softer and more pliable to be able to kind of fit it over the bezel of your light. Just kind of tuck it on. Um, you don't have to go super far down if you don't want to. Um, and then just let it hang out for maybe 30 seconds. It doesn't take long at all. Um, this plastic will begin to kind of memorize the form uh, and make it easier for you to get this thing on and off. But it stays, it's nice and snug on there. Like it won't fall off on accident. Um, and yeah, that's it. You've got a poor man's DIY diffuser for your i3T. Pretty sweet little mini lantern, if you will. I'll show you what this looks like outside in the dark. And um, if you're curious why my i3T looks like this, I put some uh, paint in the uh, knurling. And um, in another video I have, I, can, I, sh I show the process and how this can be done. It's not permanent. Um, so if you wanna undo it, it's easy to undo too. So yeah, if you're interested in that, check it out. But yeah, let's get this thing outside, see how the light looks as a little mini lantern. All right, here in the backyard to test drive our little DIY diffuser. So let's start with the low mode first. On low, kind of hold the light itself off camera. My camera has a hard time. But yeah, you can see a little bit of uh, nice soft light illuminating the area. Hold it above. And then turbo mode. It's kind of like someone turned a light on out here. Pretty sweet. Yeah, I'm sorry, my camera's having a hard time uh, not getting blinded by this thing. But um, yeah, this is just this light doing it, that's it. So yeah, if you need a little mini lantern, grab your chapstick cap and you're good to go. So now that we've made this, let's talk about why you might want something like this around. Um, basically, the normal light on an i3T is really good just to search for things um, at a little bit of distance. And this just allows you to get a nice even light um, over a broader area, almost like turning your cell phone light on. So if you're working on something or trying to read something, or if you're in a tent, having a little diffuser like this could come in handy because it's just a nice even light as opposed to a concentrated beam. So yeah, I hope this video helped. And um, yeah, let me know what you guys think. Uh, is this a good idea? Do you have other ideas that could be um, used for this or anything that could work better? Let me know. But thank you so much for checking out the video. Hope you have a great day and God bless.